Temperature and humidity sensor over the Wi-Fi powered by Tuya. Can it beat Akara sensor with the half price? Let's check it. SmartTube welcomes. Let's go. So first of all, this is my first video that I am speaking English. I used to speak Polish to on all my previous videos. I hope you will also like it. And the reason is that I moved to English is that I want to have a larger audience. Uh, so that's from my side. Let's start with the with the box. So on the box we can see that uh, the sensor is over the Wi-Fi. It gives us information about temperature, humidity, message push and beep. I'm not sure what the message push and beep, but we will check it. There's also an icon of the application, mobile application, smart light. So I'm, I'm sh I think that this sensor it's you can add uh, to this application smart light. I think I have some other things in it, so it's installed on my phone on the side so powered by Tuya there is lots of smart products that are just powered by Tuya but they are made from different manufacturers so and usually the price is is smaller and it's work with Alexa and Google Assistant that's very nice and at the back we have the information of the size I will compare later to the Akara sensor this is a rectangle Akara has a shape of square here is a QR code for application and we don't it was written we don't need hub because we are connecting to the router uh, directly let's let's open it I've never had such sensor so it's gonna also be a first time to see it I'm not sure what's inside I know what's the what Akara has but this one no yeah that's it Let's leave it like that. Okay, some papers. Uh, it's manual. So information same that we had on the box with some text. Okay, so it has two batteries. Oh come on. Oh, maybe it's worth to mention that I did I didn't want to buy that sensor over the Wi-Fi. I wanted to buy Zigbee, but by I bought it by mistake. That's one side. That's the other side. I'm not sure what's that. I'm not gonna even read it. But just giving you some pictures of it that you can see if you would like to read it. Okay. So it's in the plastic. Oh, come on! It's, oh, it's not. A, I thought that's another paper, but this is a sticker, double taped from both sides. So tape this to this side, like that, and this side to the wall or something. Okay, so it's what's here: battery, AAA. Oh, come on! How we can use those batteries? In all of our other sensors, I'm using button batteries. So using this one gonna be weird. So maybe just about the plastic. It doesn't look high quality. I think it's more, it's not just like pure white. It's a bit yellow. Yeah, and it's really big. I will just in a second compare it to the Akara sensor. Okay, so to open it, you need to slide it to the top. Sliding and then we can open it. Yeah, so two batteries, triple A, small batteries. I didn't expect that. Here is a button to reset. If you want to connect it to internet and that's it okay so i'm going for the batteries now and the akara sensor be right back okay so i have the akara sensor so let's compare it so in height i think it's two akara sensors so really really bad thickness two akara sensors so again really bad okay only this dimension but still you know a little but you know for sure akara it's it's much better and again about the batteries so here we have the button battery and here we have triple i batteries so let's put it inside 
and uh, I will put it outside to my back to my backyard so I don't know what will happen with Akara there is no problem if even if it's raining it's not like just on the rain but it's a bit uh, hidden but let's see okay I put the batteries and uh, my you can see there is flashing light blue light okay so I think it won't connect to the internet so now let's find the application and let's see if I can add it and then later I will try to find it in the home assistant because I'm using home assistant in my home so this is important to have it uh, in home assistant whoa it's very heavy I don't have the scale but <laughs> it is heavy yeah two batteries inside so it is heavy okay so now let's go to the app okay so I'm gonna just show it on my tablet so first uh, it waited I think too long to connect to the Wi-Fi so I need to reset it I'm just keeping click the button okay the light is blinking so I think that's it and I think now it's looking for the Wi-Fi, the application. Okay, so I'm just putting on the, on the left and just roll. So I have the Tuya uh, Smart app and uh, add device. Okay, so location, you can use it. As you can see, we have something. Okay, it seems like it's temperature sensor. So add Wi-Fi, Wi-Fi temperature and hoodie sensor. Nice. Okay, add it. Okay, now it's the password being added. Amazing. What's happening? Oh, added successfully. So we can click end. And I think it's now loading the the whole stuff for the sensor. Okay, temperature 28.7, humidity 45%. Temperature hot, very comfortable. Replace the battery. I got the message that I should replace the battery. I don't know. I thought that the battery is fully charged so yeah I'll look at it later okay so we have it so what's in the app uh -huh. so how the, t uh, the graph how it changed some records what's smart what does it mean no sense okay so we can create some sense uh, some automations okay 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 set okay it looks like doesn't like the, the application is not prepared for the tablet so maybe i should move to the smartphone as a base i treat that the akara is the best sensor so it gives the right temperature and humidity so i will just leave it next to the akara sensor wait some time and let's see what are the, the differences if they are actually so after that we can I think move to the home assistant to see whether I can see it there or not okay see you in a minute I think I need to show you how it looks like on the smartphone so uh, because I, I found uh, some features that actually are very important so this is a Tuya smart application so I am turning the, the sensor and uh, here we need to go to the uh, the gear to, to set I'm clicking on the set okay and here the temperature sensitivity uh, sensitivity so here I think I will also set it to 0. Point, to the lowest I think it was like I you know 0 0.8 or something but I'm choosing the, the lowest so 0 
and humidity sensitivity was all uh, all was also like six so i'm changing it to the lowest so to three percent so okay and then the switch i'm not i don't know what's the, the switch what's the switch i'm don't i'm not sure okay and i also turn off all of those push uh, push informations that i won't see on the in my phone so they were on i turn it off and now i think we can uh, wait uh, some time to see uh, what is the temperature because for now we have 28.7 but actually the akara is saying it's a bit above uh, 26 so yeah let's wait i thought that the, the sensor is really crap and i will just throw it away but it seems like the problem was with the battery I replaced the battery with one fully charged and now in the application of Tuya Smart I, I can see that the, the status it's on the battery is saying that it's uh, full, battery is full. So uh, here you can see the, the graph how the temperature is changing and this one, the purple one is Akara and the blue is the one that we are just showing on the video so i think it's just the no name powered by tuya but you can see that they work pretty similar and uh, i wasn't expecting that so that that's fine so it seems that the temperature is fine they both are have similar readings and the humidity it's also very similar so we can say that the sensor works and it's fine so here you can see that uh, i'm showing it from the home assistant but uh, i can show you how to add it to home assistant so in developers tools in settings you need to go to device and services and here you need to add uh, integration to ya i have it already and this is this is it and uh, i will i will add the link to the youtube video where one guy is showing how to add it, so I will not cover that, but when you connect it, the sensor to your Wi-Fi and you will have it on your Tuya smart application on your smartphone, then you go here and then just press reload and the device, the sensor will, uh, will be added here. So this is what I did and click on the device so you can see what it has. Yes, so it has humidity, temperature. So I don't like that uh, this is a Wi-Fi sensor because I have lots of devices already connected to the router and it's not a good idea to have so many. I have like around 70 and uh, the old router was just couldn't handle that so I had to buy a new one but you know it's still problematic so I recommend that you buy the Zigbee or any other connection similar to that not the Wi-Fi. So now you can somehow know how to add it to the uh, home assistant. So this is my smart home server when, where I have everything. So I'm going to place the sensor outside. I have uh, one here, which you can see it's here, but I will also add one on the backyard somewhere, maybe somewhere here. So just has the temperature from both sides. And now I will show you how to add it to the Google Home application and then you can ask Google what is the temperature from that uh, from that sensor. Okay, so first we need to go to the Google Home application and here we want to add a new device, but not a device from Google, but that work with Google. And here we can link all third party firms, companies that can connect with the Google. And here you need to just uh, search for Tuya, yeah, this one, and then connect. You will need to put your login, and that's the email and password, and that's it. And you will, you can then see your uh, sensor and other devices that you have in the Tuya Smart. So that's pretty easy. And now let's ask Google what's the temperature outside on the backyard. So I'm switching to the camera of my smartphone. Okay, so th this is my cool speaker. It's a Google Nest Mini second generation. So let's ask it. What is temperature on the backyard? 
Sorry, it looks like that thermostat hasn't been set up yet. Backyard temperature. Sorry, it looks like that thermostat hasn't okay. been set up yet. That's you can do one. that in assistant settings. Okay, so I will go back to the Google and sync devices uh, command. Sync devices. Sure, syncing devices for four providers. Sorry, something went wrong while syncing me home. Backyard temperature. Sorry, it looks like that okay. thermostat hasn't been set up yet. So maybe I gave it You can a, do that in name. assistant settings. So let's go back to the Google. So okay, I'm going to the Google devices. Let's see how it's named. Because I, I connected it once and I thought why it wasn't working correctly. I thought that maybe I need to reconnect it. So I restarted it and then I added it again. So let's find it. Ah, you can see. So the name of it is different which I'm using. So let's change it. Backyard temperature save okay and then now we can ask again backyard temperature sorry it looks like that thermostat hasn't been set up yet sync devices sure syncing devices for four providers sorry something went wrong while syncing me home backyard temperature sorry it looks like that thermostat hasn't been set up yet backyard temperature status backyard temperature is currently 23.1 degrees okay you can see maybe i used the wrong name but it seems like the name of the sensor and then status so now we can go back to the to your smart and we can see the temperature i was just checking it now a few seconds ago and it was 23.1 so 23.0 it's currently but yeah so it matches so it it's correct so all works fine i'm glad but at least it's working so now i think we can sum up the sensor what can i tell you about this sensor so for sure it's cheap mm, or maybe not cheap but much cheaper than the akara so by i think almost half price you get a big rectangle sensor so it doesn't look nice it's not pretty so i think in general akara wins in every every competition with with the sensor or maybe not every because it's wi-fi so when you don't need many of them so you can just have average few and connect to the router without any uh, gateway but if you have a gateway for the for the smart home and you can connect zigbee devices then i would recommend to use akara which is a bit more expensive and looks much prettier and you should be fine i can confirm that the readings are are fine so they are similar with the with the akara readings so that part of the sensor is just fine Another thing that I don't like it, uh, I don't like is the batteries, AAA batteries in the sensor and two, you need two of them, that's also really crap. I think this is, uh, this needs to have those AAA batteries because it's a Wi-Fi and it may need more power. And I'm now I'm not sure how long it will last outside, but uh, let's see if I will need to replace the batteries, I will just, I will write a comment about it. How long it lasts so you can also know about it with this with the sizes of the battery so of course because the batteries can have different uh, capacities all in all i would not buy it again for sure not the wi-fi because i have the zigbee gateway and uh, second thing batteries aaa not for me so if you have any questions to the sensor or problems in setting it up just drop a comment subscribe to the channel click the bell icon and thumbs up so thank you very much for watching and see you next time cheers bye bye